See this problem. A circular coil of 30 turns and radius 8 centimeters carrying a current of 6 amperes is suspended vertically in a uniform horizontal magnetic field of magnitude 1.0 Tesla. The field lines make an angle of 60 degrees with the normal of the coil. Calculate the magnitude of the counter torque that must be applied to prevent the coil from turning. And the second question is, would your answer change if the circular coil in A were replaced by a planar coil of some irregular shape that encloses the same area? Our motive is, so a circular coil is given like this. It has some n turns and it has some radius r and it is carrying some current i. So it is hanged vertically in a uniform field like this. So the normal, the normal means the normal to the area of this coil is making some angle, some angle theta with the field direction. So if it is like that, then there will be a, some torque acting on the coil because of this external magnetic field. So we have hanged it vertically under this field. Due to this field, it is experiencing some torque. So our question is, to, we need to find out the counter torque. We need to find out the counter torque on the coil to avoid the electromagnetic force which is turning this coil. That is our motive. And one more, if we change the shape of this coil, like for example, if we, if we put the coil like this, or if you put the coil like this shape with the same area, whatever the area that uh, the coil right now have, with the same area, if you keep another object which is having the same area but a different shape, what happens to the force or what happens to the torque that we need to explain. That is our motive. Now, come to investigation part. What are the quantities that have given? Circular coil of n turns. So, n is equal to 30. And the radius r is equal to 8 centimeters. So that is equal to 8 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. And carrying a current i is equal to 6 amperes. Under the field b is equal to 1.0 tesla. And it is making an angle theta is equal to 60 degrees. So these are the given quantities. And now I want to resolve the problem. The torque acting on a coil which is placed in, in a magnetic field can be written as tau is equal to n i into a cross b. a is the vector here. b is also vector. The direction of the normal is appended to this area so that it is considered as a vector. So that is equal to n i a b sin theta. That is equal to n is 30, i is 6. And A, it is a circular coil. So, area of circular coil is pi r square. So, pi into r is 8 into 10 to the power of minus 2 whole square into B is 1 into sin 60 degrees. We know that sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So, that is equal to. So, we will get 30 into 6 into 3.14 into 8 8 are 64 into sin 30 is root 3 by 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4. 2 1s are 2 15s are. So finally you will get 3.13 Newton meter. This is the torque acting on that coil. So to make a counter for that we need to apply this much torque using that torsional spring. And now another question is given like if we change the shape of the coil. So here if you see the problem, torque depends on the area of the coil. So if area is same for different shapes, irrespective of the shape, if the area is same, then there is no change in the torque. 